Hello, welcome to Topper Machine. I'm Josh Topper. So today's project is to build a motor base um, so that we can outfit our, our Worcester shaper with the new motor. Um, this machine was a flat belt machine. Um, I picked it up from a guy who his grandpa, I believe, owned it or dad or somebody had it. It was gunsmith and he was running it with a one horse, 110 volt motor with a three speed gearbox. Um, this machine originally was a flat belt machine, line shaft, all that. It's in excellent condition. The, the ways are in great shape. Everything is really good on this machine. So I rescued it um, and I just got the frequency drive hooked up to it. I have a 850 RPM, three phase, three horse motor on here. Um, and we need to make the slide base so that you can adjust the motor to tension the drive chain. I'm running a 60 pitch um, drive chain for this just because it's, it's relatively inexpensive, easy to fix, easy to get, um, and I'm not gonna have slippage. So that's what we're doing. We're gonna make the, dry, the, the motor mount base, it's a slide base, um, and I wish we could do it in the shaper, but unfortunately we need to make this to run the shaper. So let's uh, get the parts up in the bridge port and start making the pieces we need to, to put this together. Okay, so I got my pieces cut. These are what I'm gonna make the slides in. We're gonna mill slots and then mill recesses in the bottom for the bolt head. And then this will get welded onto another plate that'll that'll uh, attach to our, our base. Um, so I got 8.563, let's see if you can see my little drawing here, between the centers of my um, slots and 1.218 from the end. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna drill the holes and then I'm gonna go a half inch either way, maybe a little more, probably five eighths either way of those holes and drill another hole before we mill. That'll speed up the milling process so we don't have to work so much. Okay, so we got our slots cut, um, and you've seen how easy that was. You drill your holes, you get them pretty close, and you run your end mill through and slot it. And I went a little, a couple, uh, about, about seven thousandths either way just to give myself a little clearance for sliding. So it fits in there nice. Now we need to mill the recess for the bolt head. And because this is a half inch bolt, that's a three quarter inch end mill uh, that we need. And we just need to measure the depth of our bolt head. Probably go another, oh, 20 to 30 thousandths more just for clearance. And uh, mill that out to that exact same, same distance, but with a three quarter inch end mill. And we should have our, our slides made. Pretty, pretty simple. So let's get that set up and, and uh, get that milled. Okay, so I measured my bolt heads in there about 320, 325. So we're gonna go 350 deep. And what we'll do here is I got my knee set it at zero. We'll bring the, well, actually we need to do this a little differently. I set my stop up here on the quill. Lock it, turn it on the right direction, and then bring it up till it touches. Back it off at the quill here, and then turn it in 350 thousandths. Now 
Now because this is, because we're going, we already got it roughed out on the inside, we can just go straight in full, full depth and mill it and it won't be too bad. bottomed out. Now we just start feeding it. Make sure you oil as you go. Simple as that. Turn this out of the way and we'll drop the bolt in. Just like that. It can slide to full range, but it can't twist. So when you go to tighten down the down the part or the, the motor, it can't move. So that's how we're gonna do it. That's simple as that. Um, I'll get the rest of these milled up and then we'll uh, go and weld our fixture together figure out how we're gonna set it up and weld it together to a plate adapter that goes on the planer or the shaper. So um, I'll finish these up and we'll head over there. Okay, so I was going to um, start, well, weld this together with some bracketing and stuff and I started test fitting everything and what I'm gonna have to do instead is I'm gonna have to drill and tap um, mounting holes here and then I'll bolt it up from underneath on my motor, my mo motor plate. Um, but we'll drill and tap mount holes, and then I'm going to weld a crossbar between the two brackets so that when I s everything will get squared up, when I set it down on my motor pad, um, then I will transfer punch and use the mag drill and drill my bolt holes, um, and then I can bolt it up from the bottom. So I'll have my adjustable bolts and then my locking. My, my bolts to hold it down to the to the motor base. So let's get this set up and uh, drill and tap some holes. Okay, so I got everything laid out here. I got it clamped down. This is squared up. Everything's right. I need four inches between them. And I cut my little spacer blocks here a quarter inch narrower. So I got somewhere to build up with weld. Now, getting everything held in there is going to be part of the trick. Let me grab a couple more clamps here because I don't want anything moving. So we just gotta clamp everything tight so it can't go anywhere.
and then double check, make sure nothing moved on me. And we'll go ahead and weld this up. So we're gonna fill this, these gaps in with weld to make sure nothing moves, keep it clamped, and we'll flip it and just finish all the welding. Okay, so here's our plate, our adapter. Um, the holes are drilled and tapped, which we need to drill and tap here. Um, and in order to do that, I'm going to use the mag drill, but I'm going to clamp this on there. I'm going to get it lined up as straight as I can possibly get it. Um, there is a little bit of give and a chain, so I'm not too concerned, but I already test fitted everything and it's pretty close right here. Um, obviously, there's some warpage in my mount plate from when I built it, but I'm not too concerned. So I'll get this lined up, clamped in place, and then get the mag drill over here and and uh, start drilling my holes as, as long as the mag drill will fit up here. So let's get started. Let's see how I did. See if I screwed this up badly. Uh, before we do, we got to put the bolts in these two, just because it'll be easier to get them in. If everything lines up, I won't have to take it back off. That's my wife. I'll have to call her back. She's going to be mad at me. But and There it is. Them bolts fit. So that looks pretty good. Next I'll be getting the motor on there and seeing how she lines up. So there it is, there's our motor slide mount um, for my Worcester shaper. Um, 
Now, one of these days soon here, I'll, I'll finish putting this together. I gotta put my sprocket on, my chain on, get everything set up. Um, I got my variable frequency drive in this cabinet here, um, and I'll need to add my, my uh, external control for all of that. Um, and we'll do a video on that, I believe. Um, just setting up a control box up with the potentiometer, start, stop, all that stuff. So, and then there'll probably be some programming of this this thing too to get it to where I really want it to work. So, um, with that, we'll end the video here. But that's that's a simple, quick way to make a motor ba slide base. Um, something you can just use regular bolts; it won't spin on you. Um, so, hopefully, you enjoyed this. And with that, we'll end here. Uh, please check out our website www.toppermachine.com and please like, subscribe, and share. Share our channel, share our content. Help us grow the channel um, and we'll keep doing the videos as long as you want to keep seeing them. So until next time, get out in your shop, get it done right the first time.